Hi there, today I want to talk about the Israel energy in a very simple and understandable way. Alright, suppose we have a piece of rod and applied a load F on it, as you can see. So what happens here? Uh, the rod, it will elongate at first, elastically, but after exceeding the elastic zone, it will elongate plastically, okay? Now, if you want to plot the force F against the deformation, uh, will be like this. Schematically, at first, uh, kind of linear, like this, and then something, yeah, something like this, okay? It means till here elastic deformation and then plastic deformation. So what is called this figure? Is it stress strength curve? No, be careful. This is not a stress strength curve, what a force deformation curve or let's say load deformation curve. Load, as you can see, over deformation. So let's come back to this example here. Here we have made a displacement by a force, right? So what is called physically? I mean, making a displacement by force is called what? It's called mechanical work, you know? And here called strain energy. As you know, work is force times displacement, you know? It means the area under the load deformation curve is actually strain energy. It means we have to take an integral like this. U equals the integral of the F dx from 0 till x. It means you can find the strain energy till here or here or where you want, you know. Uh, here, the F is the force in Newton, X is displacement in meter, and U is strain energy in Newton meter or Joule. Therefore, this integral is equal with the strain energy of this rod loaded by force F. Now, suppose we have a spring here and we want to calculate the strain energy of this spring in elastic zone. It means we're not supposed to make the spring defect, you know. We're holding the spring, as you can see, and stretching it till elastic zone. It means if we release it, it's going to come back to the same position, for sure, after some cycles. Uh, yeah. Uh, now... If you want to find the strain energy of this spring in this position, so it's the uh, integral of the force takes. Now, we can substitute Kx for F based on Hooke's law for a spring. So after solving this integral, Finally, will be half k x power 2. Mm -hmm. All right. k here is the stiffness of spring, as you know. Thus, this is the elastic strain energy of the spring or elastic potential energy of the spring. Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. Subscribe for coming lectures. Stay tuned, motivated, and with me as well.